Hi guys! Today's video is going to be a review on Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella. This book tells the story of Penny, a 15 year old girl who suffers from anxiety and panic attacks. She runs a blog under the alias of Girl Online where she writes about her life and no one actually knows that she is Girl Online. When Penny's mother gets a job opportunity in America over Christmas, Penny meets Noah who really seems to like her, but he also seems to be hiding something. I have to say that I usually don't read a lot of romance, it's just not a genre that I tend to gravitate towards. I usually find the plots of romance novels to be quite predictable and often cheesy. Therefore it's maybe a bit of a surprise that I'm holding Girl Online in my hands today, because it definitely fits into this category. The reason why I wanted to read this book is because I watched Zoe's videos on YouTube, I really like her, I think she's such a lovely person and I just wanted to support her. I went into this book knowing what it was and I didn't expect it to be anything else and therefore I would say that I enjoyed reading it. I love the way that panic attacks and anxiety were portrayed in the book, it was definitely my favourite part. The theme of cyberbullying the novel deals with is something that I know that Zoe feels very strong about and it definitely shows and I have to say that I thought it was very well handled. I really enjoyed Penny as a character and I definitely appreciated her character development. There's been a lot of drama surrounding this book, many people have questioned whether Zoe actually wrote this book. After having read it, I have to say that the story is definitely Zoe's. The themes of anxiety and cyberbullying is something that I know she's had to deal with and that she feels very passionate about. The characters and the settings also scream Zoe, but the writing itself is a different matter. Having read her blog many times, I did feel like I could kind of tell that Zoe had written certain parts, especially the blog posts in the novel, but overall it does seem ghostwritten. I can understand why they decided to hire an author to write the book, but I can't help but to feel a bit disappointed. I would have read Zoe's book in whichever state it was in, if it was awful with a horrible plot and terribly written, I still would have bought it and maybe I would have liked it a bit more simply because it was actually written by Zoe. Even though I may not agree with how this novel came to be, Zoe's voice still shines through and I definitely think that she gets her message across. The amount of hate that Zoe is getting because of this book is absolutely ridiculous. She does not deserve to be treated this way and I read a really great article on this that I will link in the description if you wanted to read it. Now the big question is, would I recommend Girl Online? Well, I definitely think that this is a good book for 13 to 16 year old girls who like romance and I do believe that that is the target group for this book and I also think that any fan of Zoe's would really enjoy it. I did like it, I ended up giving it 3 out of 5 stars. This is supposedly going to be a series and I will definitely pick up the sequel if slash when that happens, but would I buy the sequel if it didn't have Zoe's name on it? Well, probably not. To be honest, I probably wouldn't even have picked up Girl Online if it didn't have Zoe's name on it. And I think that that speaks volumes of what I actually think about this book. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video.